At some point in the year 2011, the Earth will hold 7 billion people on its surface, more people than any point in recorded history. While some welcome this latest member of humanity with excitement, others with fear. When people hear that we've been adding 1 billion people every 15 years, they imagine humanity's growth to look something like this. But 1 billion people isn't as high a percentage of humanity as it used to be. For instance, imagine this roller coaster car represents 1 billion people. If we add another car, or 1 billion more people, our train has doubled in length. But if we want to double the train again, we can't just add one more train car, we'd have to add two. Every time we make the train longer, one train car represents a smaller and smaller percentage of the train. If it takes 15 years to add each new train car, then mathematically speaking, the growth rate is slowing. In order for the growth rate to stay constant, the train would have to keep doubling every 15 years, instead of just adding one car. Human population growth is the same way. In 1804, the world's population hit 1 billion. By 1927, that number had doubled. But by 1960, that number had only grown by half. By 1975, it was only growing by a third, and then a fourth, and then a fifth. To see how population growth is slowing down, we look at a number called the Global Total Fertility Rate, which is the average number of children each woman is having. And over the last 40 years, that rate has been rapidly falling. According to the UN's current data, the world's population is due to peak in 25 years. After it peaks, it will start to go down. By the end of the century, we'll be losing 1 billion people every 20 years. This year, the world's population will hit 7 billion. In 75 years, we'll be back here again. Think about it.